You can change any bevel at any time with this add-on. It even works on models with bad topology. Introducing GRAD 1.2. Now featuring unbevel, decal baking, matrix bake, a new renaming system, vertex color tools, and much more. First, I want to say thank you to everybody who bought, downloaded, tried, and reviewed my add-on. Okay, here are the new features. Unbevel. Destructive bevels are not scary anymore. Just select beveled edges and click on bevel. You can use bevel select feature if you have clean topology. Now you can easily create variable bevels which is very useful in hard surface modeling. You can also remove bevels or use rebevel feature to create new bevel from scratch. Sometimes you might need to add a temporary inset to help the add-on detect the edges. New renaming algorithm. Previously it named using numbers. Let's say you have named parts of your low poly mesh. Now it uses those names and renames high poly counterparts. Parts, or vice versa. I also fine tuned the algorithm. Both rename options are enabled by default now. I think this gives the best result, but you can disable one if needed. Matrix Bake. This feature drastically decreases baking time. It distributes all low, high, and cage meshes across 3D scene like a matrix, then merges them into one object. Blender can then bake everything at once speeding things up by up to 15 times. Decal baking. You can now bake decals with both positive and negative height. This means you can bake holes without cutting into the high poly mesh. Why? Because cutting can cause shading issues during baking, especially on curved surfaces. Just place the hole or screw model on the surface of your high poly mesh. The smart baking algorithm will handle it. Make sure to use underscore high suffix for high poly mesh and underscore high dot zero zero one high dot zero zero two and so on suffixes for the added detail object. Quick tutorial. Create a cage and make sure it fully covers the mesh. If your decal has negative height, set max ray distance to a value close to the decal step. Don't leave it at zero since zero means infinite. Try different numbers to find what works best. It's basically the depth of your deepest decal. In the next update, I'll add a visualization method for this setting, so you can control it much better. You can also check no skew to fix distortions in some cases. After getting the normal map, drag and drop it into Substance Painter and only then bake the rest of the maps, except normal map. This will give you all the other maps, including curvature and ambient occlusion. Vertex color tools. This feature lets you assign different materials to different parts of the mesh in Substance Painter. If you want to get G ready, I'll leave the link in description and comments. I only mentioned the new features here. If you are curious about others, here's the quick list. Advanced Baking Tools, which bypasses Blender's default baking limitations. Boolean Cleanup. Easy Loop Select. One-click Cage Creation. Automatic High and Low Renaming. One-click Bevel Shader. Auto LOD Generator. Quick Modifier Stack. Surface Select by Angle. And much more. GReady is still in development and I'll be adding even more features soon. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch.